No, oh, it's Kramer, the hundred dollar piggy. Yeah. Yeah, you're cuter than the rest, aren't you? Yes. Hey? Hey? Where's that cucumber gone, eh? Cucumber's your favourite food, isn't it? Hey. 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 Here it is. It's up here. It's up here. It's up here. It's up here, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You are. Oh, he likes that. <laughs> Is that good? Huh? Yeah? Oh, yummy. It's up here. It's up here. Come boy. Yeah, this is the piggy that I took to the vet because uh, he got bitten. Let's see if I can show you. Well, you can sort of see it's healed a bit. And the vet shaved it away so we could see what was going on. Um, but yeah, he had a little bit of a chunk taken on his backside. Just there. Poor thing. And now he's living in my room getting King's treatment because he's worth a hundred bucks. Aren't you? Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. And usually I'd handle him, but... Um, in the event that I did a 10 minute video with him, I wouldn't want him to pee on me. Because um, all guinea pigs do is eat and poo and squeak. And I've had guinea pigs pee on me before, back when we had Frank and George. Those were pleasant moments. I had my uh, Japanese coat. I had an old, my older one of these. It was pink and I'd had it for like half my life. Anyway, I was wearing one of them and they used to crawl up the giant sleeves. And of course they peed in the sleeve, and that was fun. And then another time they peed on my jeans or whatever I happened to be wearing. And uh, cream is usually pretty good. He won't pee until I put him down, but um, I still don't want to risk it. Yeah. Oh, you love cucumber. It's your favourite food. None of this celery nonsense, eh? Huh? This stuff's crap, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh, you're such a beautiful little pig. Um, as far as I can tell, I think he's an Abyssinian tricolour. I don't know why it makes such a difference that he'd be a tricolour instead of a multicolour. I mean, to me, if you've got more than one colour, that should just be multicolor, but no. <sighs> so let's see, what? How old are you, Kramer? I wrote down all your birthdays somewhere, and one day your death di day will go in there. But let's not think about that right now, eh? Um. Yeah, sorry there's no music, but I don't want to freak him up too much. He is leaving, living in my room after all, me with my subwoofer. Oh my god, I was listening to um, Cell Block Tango from Chicago earlier on, and I turned the bass right up and the volume up, because it's quite, it's, it's pretty quiet in the beginning. Um, and it just sounded so awesome, because you could hear all the drums and everything. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Um... Of course, Kramer was outside then, so you didn't have to hear all that. Okay, Kramer, you're 2004. So, um, okay, I thought it was 2003. Actually, you're only about five years old. I thought he was six years old, and that's getting pretty damn old for a piggy. Um, most domestic pigs, I think, live around five to seven years, so this one's getting pretty old, but you're still pretty healthy, huh? Um, uh, yeah, although in the wild they can live up to 12 years, I think. So I don't know if that counts as you, since you get free range of the uh, backyard. Are you planning to stick around for another half of your lifetime? Um, yeah, no, so let's see. Previous guinea pigs, Frank was from 2000 until 2004, so he made it to four years. 
he died of, uh, we had to put him down because he had stomach cancer and just stopped eating one day and I took him to the vet and, um, yeah, poor thing, he was in a lot of pain. George was from 2001 till 2006, so he lasted five years. Baby last was two years, but we didn't have him very long because we got him second hand when he was like 18 months and then he had a fight with George and got a big bulge on his cheek which popped and then he died probably from infection or something. Didn't really care about that stupid thing. It was ugly too. Um, so this is Kramer. Kramer's uh, full name that I gave him was Kramer Buta. Buta is pig in Japanese. Um, I don't know. It's because, um, oh, when did we, we got you because after George died, Mum tried to sell the uh, guinea pig cage or just get rid of it at least. Um, instead, she came home with Kramer. Mum's such a fantastic saleswoman, not. Anyway, um, she got him from a workmate who, they lived in an apartment with a 14 year old boy who used to play with Kramer all the time, which is why Kramer has such a fantastic personality. Thank you. Yeah. The other guinea pigs won't eat with me like this, will they? They're too scared and they sit there and shake. Um, yeah, and they were Russian, I think, so they called him Guinea Svenia or something. Um, and that last bit, I think, means pig, which is why I put Buta on the end of Kramer's name. You're the only guinea pig I've given a double name to, you know. Huh? Does that make you feel good? Hmm? No, you don't care. You just want the cucumber. Um, yeah. And our other pig is are Elaine, Susan, Jerry, and Putty. Yep, they're all named after, uh, Seinfeld characters. And um, the next one, the next guinea pig we get, my dad wants to call Bubble Boy. <laughs> but I said, no, nah, it's got to be a Peruvian or something. Oh, did you finish it? You were looking for more cucumber. Yay! Why don't you eat some celery, buddy? Huh? Hmm? Eat some celery. Yeah, I'll get you. I'll get you some bloody cucumber later, all right? Yeah? I knew. I knew. Yeah? Huh? What are you doing now? Huh? 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 You just want to go home now? Is that it? But I'm still talking. Is that alright with you? Can I talk? You want to talk? Huh? Hey. Hey. It's welcome. Hey. Oh. Oh. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> hey. Huh? Are you telling everyone on YouTube to piss off? Oh, yeah. I can imagine that. Hmm? 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 What are you saying? Hundred dollar piggy? <laughs> oh man. Where are you going now, huh? Excuse me. Excuse me. I can't carry you properly if you do that. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? Um. What was I talking about? Oh yes. Bubble boy. If we get a bubble boy, I want it to be a Peruvian or some sort of long hair breed. It'd be cool to get like one of those long hair ones, but they're kind of like Abyssinians with the swirls and things. I forget. Ah, I think Peruvian's long hair. I don't know my breeds very well. But yeah, it's got to be something with heaps and heaps of fur so it actually looks like a bubble or something. But I think that's a pretty funny name. What do you think? Hmm? 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 I'm sorry, I'll, I'll get you some more cucumber. Huh? It's just you're gonna eat it all and then there'll be none left and you won't have any tomorrow. Huh? Don't be such a... Go. We've done about ten minutes now. Are you happy? I'll put you away now. Did you have you need to poo? You need to poo on me? Have you been pooing on me? Should I check? No, maybe I won't. I don't want to know probably. Okay. Yeah, well we'll get you a good cage soon enough. And Dave's willing to pay like two hundred dollars to get separate cages for the boys. Because of course the only reason I kept Jerry and Putty is because Dave wanted to keep them. Otherwise I would have just kept Kramer and the girls. Yeah. 
Yeah. One of those girls will be for you if you liked her. Huh? If you want. Yeah. Oh! Oh, you like that idea, do you? Huh? Yeah, it's just we got to time it so that you can have babies in the holidays when I can actually look after them, huh? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Does it sound good? It does. Oh, yes. <laughs> huh? You horny little bugger. Oh, yeah. Anyway, let's not bore the YouTubers anymore. Oh, oh, well, where are we going? Yeah, 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 you can come up. Let's go turn this off, okay? I'm gonna put you back in your cage. Yes? Yes, alright. 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 Bye bye!